We're going to have a very quick lightning round conversation on Connect um, uh, to try to uh, get back on schedule. Uh, but first and foremost, um, I'd like to invite um, the mayor of Surabaya, Indonesia, the second largest city in Indonesia. If you could uh, come up, mayor, please come and join us. Uh, I'd also like to invite um, uh, the, uh, um, the Minister of Small and Medium Size um, Enterprise from uh, Taiwan, um, uh, Peti Hu, who I sometimes call you Jenny. I hope I'm, a, I, I was supposed to, uh, I'm not supposed to call you by your formal name, but please come and come and. And um, <clears throat> uh, from, uh, talk about uh, the message from Chad that we always remember, um, it's about a team. The only thing I would disagree with that is you don't have the best team in the world because I have the best team in the world. Um, uh, but uh, two of our team, um, my um, co-founder of, uh, of, of Jen and um, uh, business partner for all these years, Mark Marriage, come and join us. And our awesome, wonderful director of digital, uh, Genesis Ladies. Genesis, see you around. Is he, uh, here he is, here he comes. Uh, there's a lot of people in the back there. If you're looking for seats, there's a lot more over here. So I do encourage people to come on in while we're having a transition if you're looking for more seats. Okay. Um, and then um, lastly, um, so we're going to start with, with, I think, the, uh, uh, with, the, with, with the four of you. Um, and then we're going to invite, oh, no, what, you've got two more to come. Bouquet's going to come back on the stage. Bouquet. I think we're going to do Gen Connect. And then we've got Yuval Yarden. Yuval, are you here? Is Yuval here? Oh, there you are. She's coming. All right, she's coming. Great. Okay, so as you know from our little sketchbook video and from all of the way we organize our work at GEM, we divide our, uh, our work up into, you can divide, you can slice a cake in many, many different ways. Um, but um, we divide our work up into, as you know, celebrate uh, Global Entrepreneurship Week into connect, support, um, and of course then you know, we, we, uh, we, we look at our understand work as perhaps the, um, uh, the most important knowledge collection uh, way that we drive all of those. Um, but obviously, when you're called the Global Entrepreneurship Network, uh, connecting is extremely important. It's been very much the uh, process by which the trust has been built, for which we're trying to use as our currency to get so much done. So I wanted to invite... Um, uh, up to the stage, uh, th the ways we connect in three different ways. Um, the first is that um, we connect because we do events. <laughs> you're here at the GC. We don't have to spend very much time on the GC. We'll spend, uh, you'll, you'll experience the GC this week. Uh, but we do connect in other ways. First of all, we now have a, um, like TED has a TEDx, uh, the GC has a GC, but we don't call it the GCX, we call it the GC+. Plus. Uh, and we have several um, uh, nations that want to do small deep dives on either certain subjects um, or deep dives on certain geographical regions, um, and we call those the GC+. And uh, so we wanted to have an example of one of the GC+, uh, coming up, will be um, held in uh, Taipei. Woo! Uh, <laughs> I like so, the um, uh, Minister, I wanted to invite you to just uh, give us a little bit of um, uh, a, a quick overview of, of what's going to happen and when. Yeah. Okay, uh, thank you, Jonathan. It's really an honor for me, for Taiwan, to be here to uh, co work with, with you guys. Uh, I'm Betty, I'm from uh, SME Administration, uh, uh, which was under the Ministry of Economic Affairs. Um, in, most of you may know that Taiwan is uh, very excellent in, uh, our entrepreneur is very excellent in manufacturing things uh, and also build a cluster with, with each other, especially in ICT, uh, this er uh, sector. Um, but in the digital area, there are lots of, of our young entrepreneurs uh, who are, uh, use the IoT and AI things to try to solve the problem that all humankind are, are facing. Uh, for example, aging, uh, clean energy, or healthcare things. So uh, for us, we want to invite all of you to Taiwan to see how AI and IoT happen in Taiwan. 
So it's really an honor for me uh, to, uh, to introduce and announce that uh, Taiwan will host a GC Plus in September 29, uh, 27 to 29. And uh, sorry, I'm so excited. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, there are still uh, some person who are excited, more excited than me is uh, David. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, so I announced that we are, our first uh, G, uh, Gen Taiwan is, will be uh, in September 27 to 29. And we welcome all uh, of the uh, policymakers and ecosystem to come to Taiwan and share your experiences and best practice in Taiwan. And we, uh, today we prepare a, a short video which will introduce uh, Taiwan's image for you. I, I hope you enjoy the video. So please. Okay. users and maturing infrastructure, Indonesia is well positioned to cultivate the next generation of innovative cities. But which Indonesia city has the greatest potential to be the next innovative city? Surabaya. <laughs> Taiwan is pretty good. Take 1.5 to 4.5 hours flight, you can arrive most easy Asia countries. All kind of manufacturer you can find in Taiwan, and very short distance and in short time. Oh, you, you can, can be quick ready. and very easily to, to get your product ready. Together, we can create infinite possibilities for entrepreneurs around the world. The 2018 GEC Plus yeah. is in Taiwan. Welcome to Taiwan. The video they just sent. Woo! So, sorry, I want to add something. The theme will be the enable social impact with AI and IoT, and the, the, the event will also go with the Taiwan InnoTech Expo. So please take note that you have more rational to Taiwan. Thank you. Wonderful. <laughs> So, Mayor, we may have stolen your thunder, meaning we may have stolen uh, your message. Um, but um, uh, I know that we also have a message that, um, to convey to, uh, to, to, to this community uh, on behalf of the city of Surabaya. But let me give everyone a, a reminder that every year there are two major global events that we do. One is the Global Entrepreneurship Congress, and the other one is the Startup Nation Summit. And the Startup Nation Summit is focused on uh, the role that policymakers play in helping to enable our ecosystems. And we are very honored to have with us today uh, the Mayor of Surabaya, Indonesia. So I'd like to invite you to make a comment. And uh, when you're ready, I, th I promise you they will not play, play a video about Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, you're done. Um, I'm sorry, I'm speaking in Bahasa, but my stuff will be translated. Um, yeah, uh, success so, in uh, 2010. So after our success in 2010, uh, by empowering the poor housewives in Surabaya, we encouraged them and trained them to be um, new entrepreneurs, starting only with 89 groups, and now it grows of, for more than 5,000 groups of women SMEs in Surabaya. And second, we also have an entrepreneurship program for the young people, especially those who drop out of schools, and now we can have more than 600 participants, the young entrepreneurs. And when we uh, talk about uh, the forecast in 2030, more than 50% in Surabaya will be the young people. Therefore, as the city government, we have started from now on by uh, being the host of the global entrepreneurship events, including the SNS, in order that we can encourage our young people to have a global um, outlook and also understanding about the international entrepreneurship program. Therefore, in November this year, 
We will have a very um, a great event that is also inaugurated events where the creative industries uh, are also invited to take part in uh, our, our development. We will also have another program that we call as uh, the Kampung uh, Startup, where it's kind of um, ecosystems or the hub that is an international hub for the startups. Where also in this uh, Kampung Startups or the Startup Village becomes the home or the host of uh, the global uh, startups or companies in Surabaya, and we can get together between the local people and the um, international. People. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know that we have a short video to welcome you to Surabaya, um, to either the policymakers or indeed to the other uh, event that will happen around it that will be open to uh, all entrepreneurs and ecosystem builders. So please, uh, we'll play this video for you. With its rapidly growing number of internet users and maturing infrastructure, Indonesia is well positioned to cultivate the next generation of innovative cities. But which Indonesia city has the greatest potential to be the next innovative city? Surabaya. Commitment to build the future, we introduce to you an integrated tech hub for innovative ones. Here, you will have the support to realize your potential and expand your business in Indonesia. are searching for startups who wants to innovate in Indonesia in these important sectors and contribute to solving today's biggest challenges. Get ready for Surabaya! Uh, thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Minister. I know uh, I personally look forward to uh, participating in both of your events. Um, and um, thank you for being here today, um, not just uh, uh, in, in terms of to announce uh, your events, but to be very much part of uh, the work we're doing both in uh, Gen Taiwan and in building Gen Indonesia. So thank you so much indeed. Two examples of ways that we'll continue to see local gatherings face to face. But there are other ways that obviously we connect you. Um, and so I wanted to invite, uh, for some very brief comments, um, two of my colleagues that um, have the, um, well, unenviable task of uh, trying to um, uh, figure out how do you have a platform <laughs> of platforms when there's so many platforms around the world focusing on uh, entrepreneurial ecosystems. So to tell you a little bit more, um, I'll turn over to Mark Merich uh, to tell you a little bit more about Gen Connect and uh, some of the things we do and some of the things we can't do uh, in terms of our, uh, our virtual platform. So, Mark, go ahead. Thanks, Jonathan. Um, you know, obviously with, uh, with, with our background, you know, Global Entrepreneurship Network, you guys had heard earlier today about, um, you know, the power of 10 and Jen is 10 and where we kind of got our start. It was Global Entrepreneurship Week, um, and it was around catalyzing tens of thousands of events and activities around the world. And so, obviously, connecting is very important to us. We believe very strongly uh, in the power of the network. And I think part of the challenge is that we're so uh, event-based that we get face-to-face -face once a year here at the GEC, but the question is how do we connect with one another you know, throughout the year? Now, there are a ton of different platforms that we're all on, right? We're all on Facebook, we're all on LinkedIn, we're all on Twitter, we're all on Instagram and Snapchat and everything else. But how do you know who's part of the network? And that's where our platform comes in. And so we're not trying to replicate the next billion dollar startup in Silicon Valley. We're trying to provide you all with a platform that allows you to see 
you know, who's part of our family in Algeria? Who's part of our family in Croatia? Who's part of our family in South Africa? And the Gen platform and Gen Connect is one way to simply do that and to identify, um, you know, who's coming from that GW host background, who's our Gen managing director. If we've got some Startup Nations members or some early stage investors through GBAN that are there, the platform helps you do that. So that's, that's our focus with it. Um, the power in the platform is the global network, and so that way, if you're registering for the GEC, you go through the platform. If you're registering for a GEC Plus or a Startup Nations Summit, you're going through the platform, and that allows you not just to have your profile and to attend an event, but that connects you to the broader network. And so I'll turn over to Genesis for a couple of brief remarks. Yeah, no, that was really good. I, I don't think I need to say anything, do I? This is the one time of year that they let me come out of the basement <laughs> and talk to people, so I'm really excited to be here. There's a presentation? Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Is that, is that, oh no. So you have, you have a couple? Oh yeah, okay, look, there's a profile. So everybody should have one of these. Um, and you should know now, from what Mark just said, why you have one. It, it lists all the information about you, and it allows you to uh, give that to our thousands, 25,000, 30, I, I actually don't know how many members we have in the, the network right now. Uh, but everyone can find you by uh, your location or the field that you work in, the organization. Uh, your little bio goes there, and people can learn more about you and then connect with you. Like Mark said, this, this is, there are tons of these, but this is where our family uh, gets together after events like this. So you meet someone here and you forget who they are immediately because you, know, you meet a thousand people. Um, but you kind of remember who they are and you can go on here and look by, you know, I remember they were from, and uh, you can locate them and connect with them that way through messaging. It's very important to fill out all, this is the part where I bug you about filling out the entire profile. So there's two parts. There's the part that's just your name, that kind of basic thing, and the other stuff is the important part, which is what you actually do, your role in the ecosystem. And then this goes uh, across the platform, not only on GEC Connect, which is the new Gen Connect. There's Gen Connect, which is the entire network, and GEC Connect, which is the same tool, but just for those folks who are here at the GEC. Uh, and this information that you put into your profile is then carried through over to both of those so that people can find you on either of them. Uh, and then they can search by all of these nice ecosystem roles and organization types and what program you're interested in, things of that sort. And, uh, and then you come up. So um, thank you, Patricia. I don't know where you are, but you're a fantastic example for me to use because you filled out all of your profile and your picture is fantastic. And I have a, a candy bar for you later uh, as a prize. <laughs> Um, and then, yes, you know, if we wanted to message Patricia, it's right there. So it's very easy. Uh, it's not hard to fill out. It's not hard to play with. And uh, there's a, a tremendous benefit in that you're connecting with the other people around you offline. So thank you for <laughs> filling out your profile, all parts of it, and then connecting with other people. Um, I super appreciate it. My job depends on it. So you really need to do that. Thanks. Okay. Alright. Now Genesis has the, uh, uh, the, the challenge of not just getting you to fill out your profiles, uh, but also of um, guiding all of our GW campaign event organizers, our Gen MDs, and all of the people that manage the components of our platform uh, that operate our verticals. And so um, you can imagine it becomes a rich, rich resource for you. Um, sometimes I often use the word directory because um, I don't want to overpromise. Uh, in, in as both Mark and Genesis said, uh, in the age of multiple uh, uh, platforms, you know, like LinkedIn and Facebook, Genesis occasionally reminds me when I'm like, "So why doesn't this work as smoothly as LinkedIn?" And he says, "Well, the thing is, is that LinkedIn, uh, by the way, has a budget of about 300 million dollars on this particular function, and ours is about." Uh, three, 
Um, three dollars. Um, <laughs> not to say, three that, million not to say that miracles don't happen. <laughs> yeah, but, that's right. You know. but, um, but no, so, um, but I do want to stress that one of the reasons that um, uh, um, Genesis, we, we, we treasure his patience, is that he's here to listen to each and every one of you who have to either yourself or through others on your team uh, manage your part of your platforms. So that is true. Actually, I have open office hours at the Gen Circle. Uh, pillar, the pillar of Jen, which is uh, out there. The, the, yeah, that, that spot. Gen booth. The Jen booth, yes, yes. Uh, and, and then I'm also doing a session tomorrow, after, uh, Wednesday afternoon. So if you'd like to connect with me further, please, please do. I am available. This, that's why I'm here. That's why they bring me out once a year. And uh, like all good people that deal, build digital products, um, uh, Genesis actually, it's not, it's not so much as he's thick skinned. Uh, he's actually interested in your suggestions and ideas of how we can improve the platform naturally. So please come with your ideas. If you want to come with your ignorance too, he's happy to uh, help there. Uh, but certainly we really want to encourage you over the course of the next three days, Genesis is here pretty much only to talk to you guys about this. So this is his, uh, he's giving all of his time to this. So um, on that note, is there anybody that wants to tell me they're going to go and see Genesis? Hold up your hand. Oh, more, more, hands, more, hands, more hands, more hands, more hands. Come on, more hands. Even if you don't mean it, just more hands, please. Please. Yes. Put your hand in the air for Genesis. Thank you. Well, Genesis said that he wanted to come to Bahrain, and I said, well, let's see how many people bother making appointments with you. And, uh... that, that is a true story. <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, no, seriously, uh, we're there to listen, there, there to guide, so be sure to do that. Um, I, I, I hate to overemphasize the digital platform, but when we have so many countries, it really is vitally important. So it is something that we actually do, just to back up what Genesis said, we seriously ask you to do this because soon it'll only be through the platform that you'll learn about certain things and that you'll, you, know, you won't be able to do certain things unless you've actually uh, gone from your platform. But I just want to add other things, tools that are adding on top of this. If any of you are interested in speaking at other events around the world, um, at Gen, when we get emails saying, can you recommend a speaker, we're going to say, go to the Speakers Bureau. And the Speakers Bureau pulls from your profile. You can check on there and say, stop me if I get this wrong. You can check on there and say, I'm interested in being invited to speak at events. Yes. And by the way, here's the information that you'll know about me and what I speak about, etc. Yes. I charge this amount of money. Just kidding. I, I uh, you know, yes. uh, whatever you want to tell people um, about your, uh, your speakers bureau, um, your interest in, in speaking. And also, if you're looking for a speaker from within the network, I would, we'd rather, you know, I mean, I can, what ends up happening is that people email us in Washington, they're like, you know, can you give me ideas? Um, what we really invariably do now is um, look at who's offering to speak within the network. And you can do that equally well. You want to add anything? Did I get that right? Or no, anything? you got it. All right, perfect. So, but beyond the speakers bureau, there's going to be lots of other connective functionality that we'll be adding that allows you to really not just connect with each other, but actually do things with each other. And on that token, I want to come up to the um, last of the th things we wanted to shed the spotlight on this afternoon to do with how we're actually connecting you. And that is, uh, as I mentioned this morning, uh, the fact that we're rolling out um, Ecosystem Connect. Now, Ecosystem Connect is um, really something that came from the floor on the last two GECs. They asked us, how can we find more ways that we can bring together a lot of the entrepreneurs um, and that we can connect different ecosystems who've got specific demands? Um, we have been extremely lucky uh, last year to um, get several new members of our team. Um, and one person that we are very blessed to have uh, earned um, pulled from a local startup ecosystem from Philadelphia and convinced to come and uh, take this role is uh, Yuval Yarden. And I'd like to welcome Yuval to the family. And Yuval, uh, representing the United States mid-tier ecosystems, uh, is going to be working with Bouquet Kouda, uh, representing many of you in figuring out how do we make it easier for you to find relevant connections to ecosystems connections that are based upon what you're looking for in terms of spending any time outside of your ecosystem, uh, but also to ecosystems that have relevant sizes. So, um, Yuval, tell us what you and Bouquet have got in mind. Awesome. Uh, so, uh, like Jonathan said, I come from 
Philadelphia. Um, and prior to this role, I was working and doing something similar to probably many of you where I was um, working on building Philadelphia's local startup community. And I pretty much knew Philadelphia like the back of my hand and nothing else in the world, nothing about anywhere else in the world because I was so focused the way that you are on making sure you know every entrepreneur and where they're working and what they need and, and how you can help them with whatever resources are in your community. And I think that's really important that we all have that deep knowledge of one city but the reason that we're involved in Global Entrepreneurship Network is because your city is just one of many cities all over the world that's, that's trying to do similar work. And I had no clue what was happening. And so when Jonathan said, hey, we're starting this ecosystem connect thing, I thought, well, that would have been awesome a year ago for you know sitting there and saying, how do we work through X and Y, Z problem or partner with X and Y, Z city? So um, it's really exciting to be able to launch this, uh, this program here, and I'm, I'm excited to be working on it. What we're going to be doing is think of me and Bouquet as your Sherpas, if you know what that is, of the Gen Network, where if you need something, if you're thinking, hey, I, I, I run a fintech accelerator, and I just want to talk to other fintech accelerators around the world because we have some customers we work with and we have some startups and they probably have some customers and startups and mentors and resources, but I don't know anyone around the world because I'm back of my hand knowledgeable in one city and don't really know anything about anywhere else. Come to us, we're happy to make the connection, make an introduction and really help you find your partners in other parts of the world that you can connect with and learn from, hopefully build a partnership with and expand your city so that you're not just so focused on your city um, that you aren't tapping into the global network, which you're, you know, you're with here today. So hopefully you have that interest in getting involved. So Bouquet and I will be understanding the needs of your community and finding communities that are similar to you in different ways and then helping build that bridge using the Gen network. So we might end up working with someone who's not a Gen at all, but the Gen MD from that country might know exactly who you need to talk to and they'll be able to make an introduction. We can't know everyone in the world, but luckily we know some Someone in most countries that knows most people in their countries or in the cities they're in and so we can kind of connect the dots with you so come to bouquet and I if you're interested in building global relationships building bridges cross-border collaborations between countries and cities and we'll help you figure out how to expand the work you're doing in your country and and in your city to uh, to other countries and other cities around the world do you have anything to add to that <laughs> <laughs> sorry I realized <laughs> <laughs> so I can maybe add uh, one more thing. Um, so I mean, we know that some of you are already collaborating this way, and I think uh, this is also for us an opportunity to showcase, highlight some of the examples that are going on within our network. Uh, yeah. Just yesterday I was talking with um, Poly Polydor from... Um, Democratic Republic Congo, I don't know if he's here, um, about his collaboration with uh, Kim Lane in Arkansas. Maybe you might want to say a few yeah. words about this. So we are looking for examples like this. And yeah, um, they have already connected um, as part of GEC in Johannesburg. You only have three days here, but we, we want to be doing this throughout the year. And I think the Gen Connect part really gets into the picture here because we have a lot of people within our network, uh, not just the people around here. And we have some good means of uh, connecting you with the relevant partners. Do you want to say a few words, Fuller? Thank you. It's on. It'll turn on. There you go. Thank you. I asked to share our experience about uh, connection because last year I met uh, Kim Lane during the the Congress, and we change about uh, the program uh, of conductor in at Conway. So we decide to to invite me and to go in, in, in Little Rock to see what he's doing there. And I find out a good program named High School Startup Day. Because in Congo, we usually go to school to learn and to get diploma and to seek job. But we don't create job. We don't have job. And to promote entrepreneurship is something better. Which is why 
we choose that program name High School Startup Day. And she invites me, I went there, I was a big man at, at uh, Conway. Uh, there was a big event for me, and then I had some training opportunity and come back home, and we realized High School Startup Day. I sent image to Mark Merich and Booker, which is why I decided to testimony that during this Congress. Amazing. Thank you. So Kim Lane can, can say something about uh, okay. what happened in Conway. Next. I'll just, I'll just say a couple of things. Um, well, the most impactful thing to me about that story, Polydor, is that we met literally, I think, within the last minute of being in South Africa. Um, and that connection is what spurred Polydor's visit to Conway, Arkansas, and then um, Polydor's replication of our program in, in the Congo. So I feel like that one interaction impacted hundreds of kids in the Congo and in Conway. So I think it's just the power of, of collisions in this type of conference. So thank you to the GEC for making that happen and then for enabling this type of partnership. So... And, and now... Oh, I was good. Our was educational good. department uh, want to implement this program around the country. Wow. So this is the, the good news for this program. Great. And we are working to, to, to implement that around our country. Thank Great. you. Thank you very much indeed. I was just going to add one, one quick comment on that. It's a perfect example of, of two words that mean a lot to us. Uh, and that's anyone and anywhere. Um, we're not just focused on the largest cities in your country. We're focused on all the cities. We want to reach all the people. And so we want to make it possible for anyone, anywhere to start and scale a new business. So please, again, to echo what, what you've all said earlier, if you're interested, let us know. Yeah, and just to, to follow up on, on that story, which is incredible, it's, I, I had chills just because I think uh, I get really, if you've talked to me for more than five minutes about, well, two minutes, one minute, about startup community building, and you haven't heard me say that it's not just in Silicon Valley, then we must have been talking about a TV show or something else. That, that is the first thing I talk about when I talk about startup communities. In the United States, which is where most of my work with Jen happens, we don't, I, raise your hand if you think Conway, Arkansas has a strong startup community. Well, now, now you do, now you know. Um, but you know, not many people are thinking, oh, United States, let me go find out what's happening in Conway, Arkansas. You're thinking Silicon Valley, you're thinking New York. A bunch of you are now thinking Austin and Boston. But we work with over 50 cities across the country that I'm in touch with that are building startup communities that are probably a lot more like your city than Silicon Valley is because there aren't really many Silicon Valleys in the world. And as much as we all think we want to be the next Silicon Valley, if we're thinking realistically, there's probably other cities that can be more connected to what you're doing. Yes, thank you. Um, I think it's really important to think and to think what are what are the industries we're working on? What are the problems we're trying to solve? Where are we in the country? Are we, you know, are we on a coast? Are we in the middle? Are we rural? Are we are, what kind of what size city are we? And then let's find a match for you. Don't just assume that Silicon Valley has the answer to whatever you're trying to find because Many times people go there and they run out of money or they get lost or there's, that people are so busy. So help us find the city that really matches what you need if you're looking. I know a lot of people are looking at the United States and saying, wow, the U.S. has really figured it out. And a lot of people are shaking their heads. That's good, too. Um, but the reality is there are a lot of cities in the U.S. that are focused on this. It's not just Silicon Valley in New York. So if you're looking for to bring delegations or if you're looking to partner with um, U.S. cities, let's help you find one that might be really excited, like Conway, Arkansas, that's really in, in a place where they really want to help and support and host a big event and, and get excited about your work, as opposed to Silicon Valley, where um, there's so much happening that you might not get all the attention that you deserve um, to, to build a partnership that you're working on. So definitely think outside of Silicon Valley, look at the whole country, and we can help you figure out what city is best for you. Fantastic. So, yeah. Yuval, um, so I know that we have a... Uh, oh, we have a session about yeah, this. You wanna, is, is there, yeah, if you want to hear me talk more about... Um, right, no, okay, so, um, tell, tell them when and where. So. Yeah, so there's one really cool partnership that, um, that has come to fruition over the last two years is the... Um, Austin, Texas, and Pakistan relationship, and we're going to be highlighting that and then talking about the importance of global partnerships and how Jen can help you do that work. 
tomorrow at two o'clock, I think. But really, I don't remember. Um, but no, it's, it's probably tomorrow. It's tomorrow for sure. Um, and uh, if you look at your schedule, um, either look up um, my name or just look up Ecosystem Connect and that is the, that's the session. And if you're a Gen MD, you got an email about this session from me. So if you d can't find information, just look up my name and um, you'll be able to find uh, the information about the session. But we'll talk more about this. And if you are interested in doing that work, come to that session so you can talk to me about it. And then lastly, we're doing Speed Network the Globe, which is a speed dating event where we're just going to help you introduce really quick introductions to lots of people because you might not know what you're missing in other parts of the world because they're the world is very big and you might discover something new. So come and we'll match you up with for quick two minute sessions where you meet with people in different parts of the world and tell them what you're doing and there might be some opportunities to collaborate there. Both those sessions are on the agenda and uh, I should have had the timing, but I don't, so we'll look there. Um, yeah. If, 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 don't, uh, just remember, um, as I mentioned this morning, um, there is a, there's a section of the website where we've recommended the specific sessions on all of these programs. Um, but there's also, more importantly, there is a map. Um, um, if you didn't get one, who didn't get a folded out map? You should have the folded out map, okay. Well, those are available and it's really useful because there are so many sessions that lists them all. And all you get is the name and just look for Ecosystem Connect, okay. Um, but thanks guys very much. I want to add one last point on this. You know, whether it's live events, um, or whether it's virtual platforms, uh, or whether it's specific connection programs like Ecosystem Connect, it is obviously you know, very much something that uh, we think that uh, Jen is in a rather unique position to do, uh, and we uh, urge you to take advantage of this. I do want to mention that you, know, you, you should, to, to follow up on what Yuval was saying, I mean, this may be because you're interested in knowledge sharing. It may be that you're looking for programs. It may be because you're looking to actually find opportunities for your startups that are coming out of the city. Uh, and I know often when you're hosting a live event, that's part of what the message is, which is we're open for business. Um, but you want to think broadly about, you know, what is it that you could, what problem are you trying to solve? And how could somebody who's been trying to solve that somewhere else help you? Um, and we feel that... Um, it's vitally important to understand that our work in the United States is very much focused around what is often known as the rise of the rest movement. We're about mid-tier cities and, and small towns and rural towns. We're not actually spending much time focusing on the Valley or New York and Austin. Um, and we still have more to learn from them and them from us. But the point is what, what, what Yuval has to say is really important. If we're making connections to US cities, it's gonna be to these emerging um, uh, mid-tier cities uh, in the United States. So.